now we move to exercise three where we talk about taxes. The program pretty much call, um, computes your tax for you based on previous information. The only information you need here is your filing status. Now, when we talk about taxes, there are two tax rates we, we need to think about. We need to think about your marginal tax rate and your actual, which is your effective tax rate. The marginal tax rate is the tax rate tax you pay on each additional income earned once you reach a certain threshold. For example, looking at a table, you can see if I earn $9,326, I'll be taxed 10% for the first $9,325 and 15% on the next dollar. The effective tax rate is the actual tax rate I actually pay on my income. Um, this is important because um, over a certain threshold, you you the you need to understand that um, you will not be paying the same tax rate for additional income. But that's not something you have to worry about because the program just computes that for you. All you need to do is just make sure all the other data you put into the program is accurate, and then that will be taken care of. So now. In exercise three, we talk about taxes. The program pretty much uses all the data you've collected to figure out what your tax rate will be. So the only thing you actually have to enter in this program is your tax status. There are four filing statuses. Single is if you are not married and don't have any dependents. Head of household if you're single but you have dependents. Married filing jointly or qualified widower is if you're married, but um, one of your spouse just died and you'd be a qualifying widow or you're married and you're filing jointly with your spouse. Married filing separately is if you're married but choose to file a separate return for from your spouse. So depending on what you are, you would choose one of these filing statuses.